Yes, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It's charging. It's it's finally charging. <laughs> what an absolute shambles the UK electric car charging infrastructure is. It is shambolic. It is awful. Something needs to be done. The government are insisting, forcing us to, to buy electric cars, to go all electric uh, in the very, very near future. And yet you can't charge your car. It's so difficult. People don't understand. Unless you've got a home charger, I've got a Podpoint home charger that is brilliant. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and indeed, the cars are amazing. We're in the new uh, Mustang Mach-E at the moment. The cars are amazing. So you've got the latest technology in terms of the car. Uh, home chargers with the likes of Podpoint, fantastic. But once you get out onto the road, it is awful. So yesterday, after a full day of filming, um, not in this car, in a different car, the cameraman who left his house at 6 a.m. went to charge this car at 4.30. Uh, and, the, and the fast charge was about 20 miles away from his hotel. So we had a full charge of, uh, for, so we had a full charge ready to film in this car for today. And uh, he got to the charger after two hours, minus two degrees, freezing cold. Uh, and spending lots of time on the phone to Genie Point, uh, they realised they couldn't charge it, there was a problem. So I've had problems with that same one in Romsey before. So then the cameraman, I went on to Zap Maps, which is just so out of date uh, and very frustrating, but it's about as good as it gets in the UK to find out where the best chargers are. <laughs> went to the next charger, the e Ecotricity or Electricity, I'll, I'll confirm below, but... Um, uh, which was giving him, on a motorway service station, was giving him four kilowatts. You're On a motorway service station, you're only allowed to stay for two hours, otherwise you get like an 80 pound fine or something for being in the car park longer. Two hours on a four kilowatt charger in a car like this is gonna give you a handful of miles, four, five, six, seven miles maybe, if you're lucky. So needless to say, that didn't go very well after two hours and a very tired, very exhausted, very upset <laughs> cameraman trundled off to the other side of the motorway to try the other one because on the zap map it said 50 kilowatt chargers and 43 kilowatt chargers great now to get to the other side of the motorway I had to go all the way up the m27 up the m3 back down the m3 down the m27 now by this time he's it's, so he's already been out for five hours trying to charge the car find on a fast charger <laughs> and by this time He's got less miles now after five hours, after being freezing cold, after being really frustrated, after spending time on the phone to these different charging stations than he did when he started. <laughs> so he would have been better off just waiting in his hotel and having no charge. But we need the charge to film the car. So he goes there, same situation there, go to another one. That doesn't work at all. He's distraught, hands over the baton to me. I was in a hotel down the road, about half an hour down the road towards Bournemouth. Don't worry, I can sort it out, no problem. By this time, it's 11 o'clock at night uh, and I have exactly, exactly the same problem. So we go to six or seven different chargers last night uh, and either they're the wrong chargers because they're not updated on ZapMap. Um, you've got to take your own credit, uh, your own card with you. So not a credit card. Um, like like some InstaVault who are brilliant, Polar who are good where we are at the moment. Um, as well, where you can just swipe your own credit card. These charges that we went to last night, there was a couple I went to last night, you have to apply for a membership, they send you a card, and then you use that card. What is all that about? I mean, I'm there ad hoc at 11.30 at night, so needless to say, I haven't had the opportunity to apply for any card. So, but there is an alternative. Uh, you can, you can't use the app, so which is ridiculous so in 2021 you can't use an app to to do anything um, but the apps are incredibly frustrating don't even get me started on the apps the apps if you use them you need to download them so assuming you're you've got uh, cover on your coverage on your phone you need to download the apps then you need to put all your details in it's data capture that's all it is what car do you drive what's the registration number uh what address do you live at what's your credit card number etc 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 so there is an alternative though. So if you haven't got their credit card, which clearly I haven't because it's 11.30 at night, I didn't even plan on going there. If you haven't got their credit card, you can phone the number. Guess what? Phone the number 11.30 at night. Nobody answers. Oh, oh, it is infuriating. By this time, I'm down to nine miles. I really don't know what I'm going to do because I've got nine miles. I've tried all the fast charges on the kind of route back to my hotel, zigzagging back to my hotel, trying the 
find the charges. Two miles away from the, where I'm staying is Bournemouth University. Brand new, beautiful university. That's got to work. Fast charges, that's got to work. That's my saviour. Get to Bournemouth University charges. There's two vans, Bournemouth University vans, parked in the public car parking charging spaces. I mean, there's loads of spaces. There's spaces everywhere. And they're parked in the public car parking spaces. So <laughs> I managed to manoeuvre this car. I don't know how, because the leads aren't terribly long on these things either, uh, quite often. And that's quite a generic statement, because some, some of them are brilliant. Uh, I've already mentioned uh, Instavolt, Polar. You know, they, they Swipe your card, plug it in and go. That's what you want. So I managed to manoeuvre myself into position at Bournemouth University, uh, get around the back of the bollards to plug it in by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> and, and again, I had this same scenario where you had to use your membership card, but you don't, you, you're just desperate to plug it in and you think there must be a way, there must be a way to charge this car. No, there's no way. Call their number, nothing, no, nobody answers. So in the end, I went back to the hotel and put an extension lead out of uh, my hotel window. This is half past 12 at night, freezing cold, freezing cold. Absolutely, I am, I am, I've never been so distraught in my life. <laughs> plugged, the, plugged the car in overnight on a normal three and a half uh, amp plug socket, um, home plug socket, and I got 44 miles. So happy with that, managed to get to somewhere that I knew that was good, that was off my route last night. I couldn't have risked going off route last night because uh, you just assume that where you're going to go is going to work and finally I've gone to a BP Polar but again I had to phone them up the swipe didn't work so I had to phone them up it doesn't sound like much but then you have to phone up it's all that anxiety another five minutes of being on the phone and the guy was brilliant he was incredibly helpful reset the machine swiped my card didn't have to do anything else and we're away we're charging at a 50 kilowatt uh, charger um, so far 50 percent there it is something really has to be done. The government are forcing us to get electric cars and the infrastructure is awful, diabolical, horrendous, unusable, unfit for, for any use whatsoever unless you want to have a trickle charger. Cars, brilliant. The electric cars that are coming out at the moment, absolutely brilliant. Can't get enough of them. Home charger, pod point that I've got in my house, brilliant. But this has something has to be done really in the uk it is this it has to be done there has to be some sort of support all you want to do turn up swipe your credit card it doesn't you don't have to be a member you, nobody wants to be a member or, or give you inside leg measurement swipe your credit card plug it in and go and get what you say you're going to get so even this this is now down to 23.3 kilowatts and i'm on 50 percent. it should be a 50 kilowatt charger so half what it tells you it's awful please something needs to be done so it's just a follow-on update from filming today so filming today we had to compromise our whole day because we didn't have enough charge in the car um, even though the BP Polar uh, charger worked this morning, it was it was much slower, so we couldn't get enough charge in the car, so we had to cut the day short. So I had enough charge to get to the next charger to get home, to be able to get home uh, today. And I've just literally scraped in now. I'm on 18 miles now, 9%, but what I got in here was on 5% and on 9 miles. So um, I tried on the way back. I stopped at... Uh, uh, Stonehenge brand new BP Polestar charging stations there were uh, two of them two separate ones in the same complex funny enough one the irony uh, was full because it had uh, somebody uh, that just got uh, ran out of uh, uh, charge and had to be towed there by a diesel truck and the other one there so there's always a pair and the other one was out of order that they're all out of order so that was taken the other one I had to try and use my goodness so uh, it wouldn't work i couldn't swipe my card so phoned up as you always do or as i always do phoned up spoke to the uh, operator who was incredibly helpful she sounded incredibly nice and um she said recommend because it wouldn't work recommend you uh, downloading the app because couldn't press the buttons on the screen they wouldn't work so i downloaded the app i had to give all my details i had to give them twice actually it's really bizarre so you have to fill out the form once and then again but that's just that's just the app 
so I had to give I had to set up a direct debit from my bank and also give my credit card details with twenty pounds worth of or uh, you can choose I chose twenty pounds worth of pre-authorized credit. Um, so I did all that, connected it all, and it still didn't work. This is without any question the most painful experience ever ever you could possibly imagine it is horrendous there's somebody that's broken down here they've got no charge the irony being towed by a diesel truck this doesn't work i've been on the phone to pulse uh, polar bp polar i've downloaded the app it is horrendous horrendous it honestly it breaks you it breaks you i'm 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 absolutely gutted I want to get home. I want to see my children. I'm freezing cold. I've driven all this way with a hat, scarf, no heating on just to make sure I get enough range. Uh, and my saviour, I've mentioned these guys many times before, uh, and my saviour, uh, Instable, because I got here, I, was, I got here, I literally swiped my card, I plugged it in, press start, and that's it. And I'm charging. It's already up to 11% now. So as I've been speaking to you, two more percent. It, why can't they all be like this? It's, it's, it's been a horrific couple of days. Had five hours sleep last night because of the charging. We cut a whole shoot short today because of, uh, of the charging. It's not the car. I can't stress enough. It's not the car. It's the, the infrastructure. The infrastructure is just completely and utterly inadequate something needs to be done the government uk government are spending over 100 billion on hs2 which is a high-speed train between uh, the sort of north and the south uh, uh, london and the midlands i believe i don't even know where it's going actually that's how uninterested i am it's probably going to go to about 200 billion it's going to go so over over budget and they can't i know this is a commercial venture but why can't the government spend some money some serious money on getting an infrastructure that works because it just doesn't work. It's horrendous. And the, the main point is the government are telling us that we have to ch choose electric. That's the only option we're going to have in the very near future. So they really, really need to have a have a think about it. Maybe maybe do what normal people do. Maybe get an electric car. Maybe drive around a little bit. Maybe drive around the, the south and the southwest of England into Wales and, and go to other places outside of London. Maybe just have a look, see what it's like in, in real life, because I'm telling you, it is dreadful.